The man accused of shooting Metro Police Officer Shea Michelonis and leaving him paralyzed pled guilty to all eight charges today. Victoria Saha is live with an update near Circus Circus. It's where Officer Michelonis was shot more than a year and a half ago. Victoria? Yeah, it's a huge shift in this case because the shooter, Edgar San Diego, stood by his not guilty plea ever since he shot Officer Michelonis from across the street right by Circus Circus. Edgar San Diego is accused of pulling the trigger toward the group of officers. As Officer Michelonis and a group of officers were making an arrest during the Black Lives Movement protests last summer near Circus Circus. Since his arrest, he has pled not guilty to all charges surrounding his involvement in the shooting, including attempted murder with a deadly weapon. That changed Tuesday morning during a routine calendar call. Our I team learned San Diego pleaded guilty to all charges. By this gentleman, and I use that term loosely, accepting his responsibility and pleading guilty straight up to all the charges. I think that uh, justice will be done to the extent it can when you shoot a police officer and put him in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. District Attorney Steve Wolfson says Samaniego could face at least 40 years behind bars for the attempted murder use of a deadly weapon charge, plus the other felony charges against him, including three counts of assault with the use of deadly weapon. Officer Shea McAlonis has been paralyzed since that June 1st, 2020 shooting. Since then, continuous support has come in from the police community. We all go out there putting our lives on the line every night uh, in fear that one of us may not return. And so we treat each other differently because of that issue. Officer McLonis' family declined an on-camera interview with me, but say that they are happy to see this case move forward. The next steps will be sentencing. Victoria Saha, live, local, now.